the truth. here hope you guys are having a fantastic day um but so that was just some oh uh, fuck that was just some stuff that i was uh searching the web for and i came across some stuff about the hierarchy politics government illuminati shit is they're all lizards apparently like what lizards really not aliens just lizards like, dude, what the fuck? But anyway, I stumbled across this video. And uh, the video is titled, Do Lizard Aliens Rule the Earth? So, I watched about 30 seconds of this video, and I thought it was complete bullshit. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna watch this video together. So, without further ado, um, yeah, let's just get right into it, boys. Every year, 150 members of the world's elite made up from the political leaders, industry leaders, finance and the media meet to discuss and set the global agenda of politics and economics. Named the Bilderberg Group, their discussions are so secret that conspiracy theorists believe they are attempting to establish a new world order. Uh, right off the bat, right? This... Okay, this company? I think it's a company? I, I don't even fucking know. Uh, Illuminati government organization or some shit, I don't know, uh, called Builder, Bilderberg, um, it's apparently just trying to do some insane shit, I don't even know, dude, just, just watch, oh, there you go, fucking a new world order, seriously, you seriously believe that this Bilderberg, in quotation marks, <laughs> fucking, people actually think that this is gonna happen guys that these people these lizard people are going to create a new world order it, it, just fucking i'm gonna play a video ike argues that the reptilians are an ancient race of interbreeding bloodlines called the babylonian brotherhood who settled on earth 200 to 300 thousand years ago made up of 20 competing reptilian races the babylonian brotherhood came to earth attracted by the planet's resources particularly the mineral monatomic gold. This mineral, once ingested, gave them the power to speed up transdimensional travel. Oh, I'm sure, dude. Once this gold was ingested, <laughs> it gave them the ability uh, to speed up intergalactical time travel or some shit. Now, I know one of you guys are going to be like typing in the comments like, Oh, shut the fuck up, Blitzer, you, you, you just fucking just, no, shut the fuck up, dude, no way. It is the descendants of the Brotherhood's breeding program who today control the world's resources and economy. David Icke explains that the reptilians have managed to consolidate power and control over humanity by tactically assimilating into the human species, stating that the families in the positions of great financial power obsessively interbreed with each other. He points to the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, and European royal families as prime examples, specifically identifying the late British Queen Mother as seriously reptilian. Dude, I'm fucking done with this video. They think that the Queen is... Okay, this is what they, the, this is what they said. I'm not paraphrasing this shit. Seriously reptilian. What the fuck? Dude. Oh my god, I, I'm done. What is this world anymore? I'm moving to Mars. Fuck this. If you guys leave a like on the video, you get a personal ticket to Mars with me. I will buy you one. We're going to fucking Mars. As well as the Bilderberg Group, Ike believes reptilians rule the world through a variety of agenda-setting institutions, from the United Nations to the International Monetary Fund, in order to implement corporate globalization whilst all ultimate decisions are decided by the most powerful reptilians that make up the global elite. He thinks they created the media, science, religion and even the internet, all for the purpose of controlling and pacifying the human population. Ike argues that throughout human history the global elite has endeavoured to divide and conquer the human race through endless conflicts and wars by emphasising the racial, ethnic and sexual differences in mankind. Ike argues that the global elite engineer events such as 9-11 and then use the ensuing chaos to impose further controlling measures. So what inspired David Icke's outlandish ideas? 
The notion of a reptilian conspiracy originated in the fictional story The Shadow Kingdom by Robert E. Howard in 1929, in which snake-headed humanoids use shape-shifting and mind control to infiltrate humanity. According to critical theorists Richard Kahn and Tyson Lewis, Ike has taken his ancient astronaut narrative from the writer Zechariah Sitchin, who argued in his book Divine Encounters that an alien race called the Anunnaki had come to Earth for its precious metals four years before Ike made his debut. But the idea that human civilization has been infiltrated by extraterrestrials has permeated human mythology, giving Ike and his followers credence to the reptilian hypothesis. Author Eric von Däniken, in his 1968 book Chariot of the Gods, points to ancient monuments like Stonehenge, the Moai of Easter Island, and the Great Pyramid of Giza as evidence that we are not alone, claiming that their technological sophistication far outweighs the capability of ancient man. Now, you see, this is where I get a little bit confused, because personally, I do believe in aliens. Like, I don't think that we can be the only ones in this universe. Uh, like, dude, seriously. I don't know, but w when they bring it into lizard people living on Earth and building these monuments and creating all this shit just to manipulate us into believing something, Nah, that's where I draw the line, dude. There is a barrier. He also believes religious texts such as Ezekiel's Revelation in the Old Testament are witness accounts of intelligent extraterrestrial beings settling on Earth. However, David Icke has cited some spurious sources as fact. For instance, he has referred to a Russian hoax text called The Protocols of the Elders of Zion, which presents a plan by the Jewish people to take over the world. Consequently, critics of David Icke's reptilian hypothesis believe that the idea of lizards ruling the earth hidden in plain sight is really just thinly veiled anti-Semitism. David Icke's book sales and tours have earned him a net worth of $10 million, despite the fact no one has yet provided any proof that lizard aliens rule the earth, and no physical evidence of the 12-foot humanoid lizard skeletons he claims exist. In an attempt to explain the popularity of David Icke's views, Kahn and Lewis argue that the reptilian hypothesis, rather than being taken at face value, is a useful tool to give ordinary people a narrative framework with which they can question the world they see around them. But whilst the Bilderberg group may not be made up of reptilians, Ike's suspicion of them may not be unsubstantiated. One of the Bilderberg group founders, Dennis Healy, stated in a 2001 interview that, to say we were striving for a one world government is exaggerated, but not wholly unfair. Those of us in Bilderberg felt we couldn't go on forever fighting one another for nothing, so we felt that a single community throughout the world would be a good thing. Still, a 2013 poll found that more than 12 million Americans believe that lizard people control politics. Oh my fucking god, dude. This is where I draw the line, alright? This, this is why I need to leave this earth, alright? I cannot believe I'm about to say this. 12 million Americans think that lizards are controlling the earth. And that may be serious cause for concern. And yeah, just like that guys, the fucking video ends. So, uh, yeah, in conclusion today, <laughs> uh, we're all controlled by lizards. There's no doubt about it, this video is convincing as fuck, alright, you know, 12 million people believe it, why should I not believe it? But, uh, yeah, anyway guys, in all serious, um, yeah, this is my first video, so it would be a highly, highly appreciated if you would leave a comment, like, and subscribe down below, and I mean, just, uh, hell guys, uh, yeah, I told you, if you leave that like, you're going to Mars, wouldn't you, dude? No fucking scam, no joke, no joke. Alright, dude. Yeah. Every single one of you. I will be there with a rocket literally in 10 minutes of you leaving that like button, alright? Now, hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.